we've left Gary Gill about two miles back and we're heading up to Cross Fell for an overnight welcome. As you can see, I'm with Stephen, the over the uh, below average wild camper and I'm the over the hill wild camper. So it's a steady climb all the way, to where? but nothing to the cross fell. And it's uh, there's nothing too drastic yet as far as the uh, the gradient's concerned. And it's a lovely day. Uh, the sun's just hiding behind a bit cloud at the moment, but it is a nice day. It's still chilly, mind, but it's a nice day. We've done almost five mile now, and I think we've still got maybe another 200 metres of ascent to go, climbing up. But we've gotten to this point now where it's, it looks like it's an old, been an old lead mine. You can see there's a lot of rocks, and, and if you look there, this is an old mine shaft. And I wouldn't like to have gone down there, even though I am. I did work in the mines. I wouldn't like to go down that mine, that's for certain. Anyway, we've, we've been on the go now, actually walking since about 10 past 10. It's now 10 past 12. So we're going to have something to eat. And we're going to have a Liz's lunch that she's proved for us. And what a feast it is. In fact, it's all in my bag, so I'll be pleased to get rid of it. So I'm not, I'll be carrying it in my stomach instead of carrying it on my back. And there's some shooting going on in the distance. Place this here, that's a long way away. But we're going to find somewhere nice to sit. I think Stephen's already found somewhere nice to sit. And we'll get the we'll get the sandwiches out and the sausage rolls and the scones. That's some sort of lichen or lichen or whatever all the stones have a sort of a, a rusty look about them it's obviously been a lot of activity going on here mining activity i mean obviously that's not natural that's been that's been built that bit wall there And that over there as well, so yeah, you can already guess what was going on here. I'm in bacon sandwiches. Lovely. We're about a mile from the top of Cross Fell. I think we've done the bulk of the climbing now. As you can see, there's some, well, maybe you can't see on the GoPro, but there's some little spots of snow lying here and there. Or, yeah, well, it is. it has been snow, but it's sort of ice now. Lovely day, lovely day. Last climb.
this snows really because most of the day this part of the mountain is in shade so that's why we've got snow here let's hope we don't get any more fresh snowfall tonight but I don't think we will it's not it's not forecast well here we are we've got here cross fell there's the shelter there's Stephen and there's the trick point might as well go and touch it now eh the highest point in England outside of the Lake District about 850 metres and talking of the Lake District that's the Lake District over there and I think I can see the Solway Firth in the distance you'll not see that on uh, the GoPro and there's plenty of good spots to pitch the tent which is what we're going to do now after we've had a minute well we've got the pinch the pinch stitched the pinch stitched you know what I meant the tent's pitched there's Stevens over there there's mine we're right on a sort of the edge of the plateau we struggled to find somewhere that wasn't boggy but it's still a little bit boggy but it's not too bad Got a lovely view right around. That's the Solway of Firth in the distance. The sun's about to set in the west there, and that's over the Lake District. And up there is um, the top of Crossfell where we've come from. I'll have you look you're inside my tent. There's my new Rob. A scent 700 bag first time trying it tonight so I hope it's going to be uh, nice and toasty but I don't see why it shouldn't be and so let's have a look round so there's the, the tent looking good I'll take you around look round Stephen's tent Stephen's got his uh, trendy Wellingtons on because he's forgetting his uh, sail skin socks. Isn't he a picture? Huh? I like a farmer. <laughs> and there's his bunny duo mid. Like I can see it, you can hear the squelching when you walk on your feet. It is definitely a bit squelchy around here, but it doesn't matter where you go, it's squelchy. Right, we'll get the kettle on here. Eh? Well, we all set up. The transi is ready for the masterclass. We've had a, made ourselves a cup of coffee. We've got a beautiful sunset going on over there. As you can see, very nice. There's my tent. There's Stephen's tent. We all wrapped up because it's pretty cold. But it's a lovely night. We can see right across to the Lake District. Not that you'll be able to see that line, but there's hardly a breath of wind. Hardly a breath of wind. The Trangia coupon's well in advance now. The pork's just gone into the pan. And uh, the sous chef is just having his first beer. Cheers.
we've retired the my 10 just for half an hour or so to go through the videos and maybe listen to a bit radio because it's too cold to sit outside and it's only uh it's only 20 that? it's 20 past seven 20 past seven. but i just want to go to bed now ah well we'll we're just going to look through my videos that i've took today and then i think we will get into the bags aye and listen to a bit radio on our own because my feet's frozen <laughs> Right, see you in the morning probably. Oh no, I might sign off just before I go to sleep. Took up in bed, 20 past 8, freezing outside. But I'm in my new rab sleeping bag, my down sleeping bag. So uh, I'm just looking around to see what uh, radio I can listen to. And then I'm going to go to sleep, hopefully. We've had a good day, we've had a really nice meal tonight. How oh, Stephen did another Trangia uh, masterclass. And we had Chinese chick Chinese pork with rice and it was lovely. So I'm going to sign off tonight and uh, see you in the morning. Good morning. As you'll hear, the the wind's blowing a bit. I think it maybe sounds worse in the tent because the, it's flapping about than it is outside. But by hell, it's cold. My water's frozen. I've got the uh, gas on. Make myself a cup of tea, but I am got a great deal of faith in it because it's it's pretty weak. The flame that's thrown. It's because the gas is too cold so much for Coleman's minus 28 degrees centigrade gas it's been I've, I've been lovely and warm during the night I'm, I'm, uh, I'm well wrapped up mind I've got plenty of layers on and I'm in my new uh, Rob Ascent 700 bag so I, I've been warm but uh, that, the the uh, this in, inner tent's fine, it's dry, it's, but the outer tent, the inside of the outer tent is covered in ice, frost. Um, I've never looked outside yet. I don't think it's been snowing, but I think it'll be icy outside. It's got to be, it's, it's really cold. So let's hope this get this kettle boiled and hope I get a cup of tea. But if not, I'll just have to have me croissant and uh, Start packing up. Wait, it's not daylight for another. It's only twenty past six, but it's not. It's not daylight for another sort of. Why, well, almost an hour? I would have thought. But I'll just lie here and uh, hopefully have a cup of tea and just uh, get myself sorted a bit. Right, I'll see you when we packed up and on the road. That was a pretty cold night. See how Stevens has survived. There you are. I'm, yeah. sit I'm just talking to the camera, Stephen. <laughs> right. You can see his contents absolutely covered in frost, as is everywhere else. Inside and out. In I suppose mine. Lovely sunset over there, sunrise over there. There's an aeroplane in the sky going to swarm of claims. Very nice. Oh.
rode halfway back to Gary Gill to the car after having uh, a night on Cross Fell. Of the few, well, I don't know how many where it comes to dawn, but certainly more than 15, that was the coldest. But if you've got the right gear, it doesn't matter because we were warm as toast in the tent and we even managed to keep outside even though it was very cold so i'm going to sign off now but if you're still watching thanks for watching remember subscribe and, and press the bell button and put a comment on Aye. and any comments i always reply Aye. right thank you for watching eh? see ya bye